Congratulations on taking steps towards creating a greener future for our planet and our children by purchasing an all-electric microbird shuttle bus from A to Z bus sales. In this video, you'll learn how to interact, operate, and maintain your new vehicle. Safety is Microbird's number one priority when engineering the all-electric G5. All high voltage components within the Microbird electric drivetrain system are identified by high voltage symbol and are orange in color, which meets the Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standards. It is important to note that there are no high voltage wires located inside the passenger seating area of the bus. The vehicle's master service disconnect is located on the right side of the motor, just underneath the doghouse. In the case that an emergency should arise or the vehicle is in an accident, your first priority should be to safely offload all passengers. Inform first responders such as EMT, police, and fire of the master service disconnect location. Follow your school district's accident policy procedure. A to Z bus sales recommends that you perform your pre-trip inspection with the vehicle connected to a charger. Doing so will maintain the vehicle's state of charge during the process, resulting in a true full charge when you're ready to disconnect it and operate the bus. Visually inspect for coolant and hydraulic leaks. Visually check the coolant level using the sight glass. Inspect the 12 volt battery system for loose connection and signs of corrosion. Look for any other loose wire connections. Once you have inspected your Microbird's EV system, continue with performing your regular pre-trip inspection per your school district's guidelines. Microbird's advanced system is capable of level 2 and level 3 charging. Connect your Microbird to the charger via the port located inside the grill at the front of the vehicle. Always inspect your connector and the charging cord for signs of damage and the port itself for damage or debris prior to connecting it. Once plugged in, Microbird's system will confirm connection with a single audible horn honk and a visual blinking of the driver's side marker lights on models built after 2021. The LCD panel inside the bus will also display the approximate time to reach a full charge. There are a few new features and items to get familiar with inside the driver's cockpit that differ from the internal combustion microbird. The vehicle's instrument cluster is noticeably different. The RPM gauge is replaced by an efficiency gauge. The vehicle's LCD panel displays charging status, state of charge, and the vehicle's remaining range. The vehicle's front heating and air conditioning system continue using the Ford factory controls. However, the rear heating and air conditioning systems function independently from one another. All other components and features are similar to the ones found in a non-electric microbird. Ensure that the vehicle has been disconnected from the charging station. Insert and turn the key to the on position, followed by the start position, and then release it. Once started, your electric microbird will give you three forms of confirmation that it has been enabled. Never leave the key in the ignition when the bus is not running as this will cause the system to perform standard operating validations that could drain the batteries. It is a good idea to check the available range in your vehicle system before driving. To do this, press the charge indicator button at the center of the display. Use the shift lever on the steering wheel to put the vehicle into drive or reverse. 
Your electric microbird is designed to emit a very low decibel whirling sound when driven under 20 miles per hour. This is to alert pedestrians and others in the immediate area and let them know that the vehicle is in operation. Your electric microbird is equipped with a regenerative mode that puts power back into the system when decelerating and braking. You'll notice that on the vehicle's instrument cluster, the RPM gauge has been replaced with an efficiency gauge. When the vehicle's motor is under a load, the needle will move towards the red power zone of the gauge. And when it is decelerating by letting off the accelerator, the motor will act like a generator, also known as regenerative braking system, which actually puts energy back into the batteries, thus extending your vehicle's range. A low level drive battery indicator will illuminate once the vehicle's state of charge falls to 20% or below. Inspection should be performed every 20,000 miles or annually for loose harnesses and connectors and for general leaks. Check your cooling system for the following. Note that the pump must be running for this inspection. Check the transmission fluid level. Check the power steering fluid level. Every 60,000 miles, the following should be performed. The following is a list of fluid types used in your electric microbird G5. Your bus won't charge. Verify the 12 volt system is fully charged. All connections are secured and free of corrosion. Verify charger port and connector are free of debris. Verify charger is fully connected. Your bus won't start. Verify 12 volt battery is not discharged and that all connections are secured and it's free of corrosion. Verify that the bus is not connected to the charger. Verify vandal locks not activated. Verify the vehicle state of charge. Laptop diagnostics. A laptop will be provided for diagnostics. The laptop needs to be connected to the internet to perform the diagnostics by the manufacturer. The end user is not to perform diagnostics to the high voltage system. Manual reset. To perform a manual reset of the system, first remove the key from the ignition. Make sure the vehicle is not plugged into a charging station. Remove the two pin connector under the steering column and wait 30 seconds. For all other issues or concerns, please contact A to Z Bus Sales Service Department to schedule a service call.